Kumba at Tampa's Bush Gardens, the Texas Terror near Dallas, the Cyclone in South Carolina, and the Loch Ness Monster at Williamsburg, Virginia. These are just a few of the country's biggest and baddest roller coasters and thrill rides. We have another thrill in store for you. Let's go to the top of the Stratosphere Tower in Las Vegas, and I'll explain. Now, you might think for someone who has ridden all those rides, and I have, that you'd say to yourself, been there, done that, when it comes to riding a new roller coaster. But in fact, I haven't been here, and I haven't done this, namely, ride the world's highest roller coaster. We're just going to take you along for the ride as well. There are plenty of high rollers in Vegas, but none like this. Situated at the 900-foot mark of the 1,100-foot Stratosphere Tower, this German-designed wonder runs 700 riders per hour through three clockwise rotations of the tower. It takes up about 865 feet of track. You know, it really changes the way you might view Vegas, and you could say it gives new meaning to the phrase, let it ride. <laughs> wait, 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 how was it, how was it? How Honey, it was great, it was exciting, it was scary. Here, I'll help you again. And Thank God Blair Underwood was there to hold my hand. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Well, the coaster was nice. Well, the, the view is the thrill here. And, uh... Well, you heard what those people think. What do you think? I mean, every time they open a roller coaster anywhere in the world, they always lay claim to something. But only one can lay claim to the world's highest, and you just got a chance to ride it with us. Hope you enjoyed it. Reporting for All News Channel from the Stratosphere in Las Vegas, I'm David G.